welcome back to my channel now today I've just decided let's talk about the nystatias and here I have them everywhere and basically what I'm doing is that because they are edible and I do use them in salad and they are a bit peppery but I don't mind the taste because it just brings another flavor in your salad and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flowers which actually rounds off the salad so well so welcome back to my channel my name is Alice and I'm the Red Soul Gardener As I mentioned earlier, is basically this plant does a spread and a lot of people do use it in salads and sometimes they even use these flowers as decorations on, on cakes, which makes it really exciting. And then I just found that I also have the yellow variety and again, striking vibrant colors. Now, the beautiful thing about the leaves, they're very, they're very flimsy and they do have this lovely design on them. But again, it is a salad and some people do eat it. Now, the thing about these nasturtias is that basically they're like a weed and they do self seed. Now, I've had nasturtias in my garden for years and years and years, once the rain comes, suddenly their seeds pop up, uh, get germinated, and suddenly I end up with all this foliage that it creeps through my plants. But what I love about it, it's such a good filler. Look at that, the array of colors with my margaritas there and my geranium, but it sort of comes and it sort of lifts up the color in this area. So what sort of soil it does it want? It's not fussy about the soil. I have red soil here. I have uh, different places where it basically nothing grows, but these fillers will always bloom and bloom and bloom. Now, what sort of water does it want? Basically, it does like moisture. So for as long as it gets moisture, maybe two, uh, two times a week, it's fine. And it will always tell you when it's not ready, when it's wilting and it's thirsty, because the leaves will droop and the flowers will droop then you know it's time to give it water the more light it gets the more blooms you will get the less light it does get if it's dabbled light you won't get that much flowers but you will get still the green foliage the leaves now why i have these nasturtias here and it's right i have my raised garden at the back is that they're actually known as trap crops now trap crops are quite fascinating like nestaceous is basically they attract amphids so they attract white white flies and they attract the cabbage worm so they go in here instead of going into your garden so it's like the first stop before they get to the garden so if you do see that your nestaceous are having curled leaves that means you do have a problem maybe the amphids are there the other thing which is an indication of amphids is the ants so if you do see a lot of ants around your nestaceous you know definitely you do have the amphid there as we know amphids do love the ants because they they work symbiotically is they produce um, their honeydew and the ants love the honeydew so the ants protect them so if you do see that sort of thing you know you have amphids but again it is a trap crop so before they even go and invade my raised garden hopefully they will stick here now the other thing is that if you do get amphids or the white flies all you need to do is get dishwashing liquid mix it with water and in the afternoon after the sun has gone do spray it and that is usually quite good enough for amphids and white flies the other thing about them is they do attract pollinators you do get the bees you get the butterflies sometimes in Europe you will get the hummingbirds so they're actually really good especially in a garden spot because they do bring these pollinators to your vegetable garden now we were talking about again uh, propagation how would I do it it's basically seed self seeding as I mentioned now when you do go in here you will see the seeds because once you do have the flower and the flower dies you get the seeds so you can go around and actually if you want is you can collect your seeds and they look like this 
So what happens is, once the seeds do dry, you have to dry it out, then they look like this. So what I'm going to do with these seeds, because I do have them, these um, plants as fillers, but what I actually saw the other day is having them in hanging baskets. So that's my next stage is I'm going to make my hanging basket and I will have them all trellising down. So fellow gardeners, thank you for joining me on this episode. Listen, do go and buy yourself some nastasias and you can, you can actually get the seeds. But if you do have them in the ground, start collecting your seeds and drying them and then do scatter them where you want them because once the rain comes and they germinate, you will have this abundance of color so don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to press that notification button and don't forget to subscribe it means a lot to us and do follow us on instagram write your comments i'm always there to answer and i do love getting those comments very encouraging and thank you so much and have a lovely day i'm going to mix this in my salad so you should try it too thank you bye